This tool is to be used on plastic pipe only. To adjust the depth of the chamfer, loosen the adjusting knob and slide the flange plate up and down until the required amount of router bit is exposed above the plate and tighten the adjusting knob. Turn on the grinder and place the flange plate flat against the end of the pipe and slowly bring the router bit against the edge of the pipe until the bearing at the end of the router bit is contacting the pipe. Slowly rotate the beveler counterclockwise, being sure to keep the bearing in contact with the pipe. A second quick pass around the pipe may be needed if the bevel is not smooth. This can happen if the guide plate was not kept perpendicular to the pipe and the bearing plate on the router bit was not kept against the pipe. Reed's Cordless Power Beveler ships assembled in the CPB kit. To attach the beveler to your own Bosch grinder, follow these assembly instructions. The tool user must mount the router bit adapter and guide plate assembly onto the grinder. Be sure the battery has been removed from the grinder. Place the RBIT1 router bit onto the grinder collet. Position the bottom of the bit's cutting blades 3 16 to a quarter of an inch above the top of the grinder collet and tighten the collet with the provided wrenches. Be sure to firmly tighten the collet to prevent the router bit from loosening during operation and causing damage or injury. Place the adapter over the end of the grinder with the three cutouts facing up and the thumb screw hole 90 degrees to the left of the grinder's on off switch. Position the top of the adapter a half inch below the bottom of the bit's cutting blades and tighten the clamping screw on the adapter using a 5 32nd hex key wrench. Place the guide plate assembly onto the adapter and slide the plate to the bottom. The top of the guide plate should be flush with the bottom of the bit's cutting blades. If not, readjust the position of the adapter until the guide plate and router bit are flush. Place the adjusting knob screw and washer into the slot of the adjusting ring and the tap hole in the adapter. Adjust the guide plate to the desired length of bevel and tighten the adjusting knob screw.